Hey, New Hope family, Pastor Luke here coming at you for day four of our prayer focus leading up to Fresh Wind. We're so excited that it's coming around the corner in six days, Pastor Manny. And so we are believing for mighty things. And today we're not just believing, but we're praying for an infilling of the Holy Spirit. Just so you know, the Spirit wants to move mighty ways, but He always moves first in you and for you. He moves in your life first. We, we hear him uh, in the New Testament talked about that he is, he is the spirit of truth, that he leads us and guides us to all truth. He also rem reminds us of truth. And so I'm praying today for you. And would it be your focus today? Holy Spirit, remind me, lead me, guide me in truth for myself. God, what, are you, what do you want to do in my life first? What areas do I need to give up? Conviction of sin, unforgiveness held, any of those areas. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you convicting you in a gentle and loving way, uh, leading you to truth. And that's the first way he wants to move. The second way is we know we get power to be witnesses. We get gifts for the body and we get graces for edifying ourselves. And so the Holy Spirit allows and guides and fills us with these things, not just for us, but through us, for other people. And so he wants to move in the people around you, at your workplace, at your family, and in this body of Christ in our church. And so we're praying today and focusing today. Holy Spirit, come in my life. Also come through me for others. Open my eyes. Use me. Give me power and the gifts and the graces. So let's just pray today quickly. Can I pray for you? Holy Spirit, we invite you into the room, into our hearts, into our lives. God, will you lead us to areas in our life first? Would you move in our lives first? We will let us lay down things we're holding on to. Reveal things in our lives we may not see, these blind spots that we can give to you. And, and heal us in ways we need to heal. God ultimately then leading to filling us with power and giving us these gifts for corporate and giving us these graces to edify us and build us up. Fill us more and more. We don't want to say that it's just a cliche, but God, we really mean that. Pour out your spirit. Pour it out on our lives. Pour it out for fresh wind. Even these next six days leading up to it, God, will we just see mighty moves of your spirit, not just in us, but through us. We pray these things in your mighty name. Amen. We love you, church. Six more days. Let's go.